Last night, Binance sold off $319 million worth of Bitcoin. We don't know what's going on with Binance right now. Maybe they needed capital. Something like that happened, caused a massive sell-off in the market through the overnight hours. You might be waking up wondering what it is that's going on. Look, buy the dip. That's basically all you can say at this point. Now, we're going to talk about Terra Luna Classic. I'm going to give you the rundown here as quickly as I possibly can. So let's get after it. All right, first up, no change in the news in, in Terraform Labs, but we do have an update here because Weeks, who is a partner, I am an ambassador for Weeks, uh, they are now joining Binance as the only centralized exchanges to burn Luna Classic. So if you haven't already, make sure that you sign up in the description down below and start trading today in order to burn Luna Classic. This is not uh, this is not a game like some of these other ones. This is not a, a, a burn token initiative. This is not anything like that. This is, you have a choice. You can go in here and you can do some trading and you can do some burning. I uh, got a, a reward for signing up. I think it was 10 future dollars. And I bought Luna Classic on a long position and it immediately got liquidated when this market dipped. But guess what? I burned some lunk. Whatever amount it was, it got burned. I assure you. Now let's move on. All right, guys, no change in Commonwealth. We're still talking about that break, uh, break glass procedure. I can't even say that right, by the way. Uh, it, I lose my mind every time I try. So nothing fundamentally has changed here. No new proposals. Nothing like that has shown up on the radar. Over here on station, you can see there's no governance proposals. Everything is just kind of in an idle fashion. I think the market dip probably did a little something to, to, to scare people for at least the next two days. I mean, we kind of felt it coming. Didn't you feel it coming? I felt it coming. I, I in in hindsight, uh, I didn't feel it coming actually last night. I felt it coming during the day yesterday when we really had that dip in the market. And then the pump back up didn't seem as robust as it normally would, even though it was pretty good. It was still not bad, but it, but it felt like we're going down. We're, we're in a bearish pattern all of a sudden. It just And it just, it rolled over and you kind of felt it happening. And then of course we got uh, last night as it continued. So, um, but let's check out some more information. All right, guys, as you can see right here, down 13% on the day, 96% uh, increase in volume. Most of that, of course, was coordinated sell-off because, uh, you know, here we are. Uh, same thing over here. You have, you're down 10% on, on USTC, uh, but the volume, of course, in trading is up. A lot of sell-off in the market, European, uh, Asian markets, everything just kind of selling off. I don't know what the U.S. market's going to do today, uh, but we'll see what happens with that. Now, finally, since it's evident, we're just going to check out the price action and we're going to figure out what's going on there. All right, guys, as you can see, we got to the end of this pattern and guess what happened? It ended up breaking out to the downside. Now, this is uh, part of the broader market sell-off that's been happening. I'm on a 30-minute chart, by the way. Uh, it's broader market sell-off, but when in doubt, zoom out, right? So if we zoom out just a little bit, we go to the day chart. Uh, day chart just shows us we got a nice dip to buy. We didn't even touch the 50 MA. We didn't even touch the 100 MA. We're not even in danger, if you will. I mean, that's you know basically what this is. Cryptonomy.finance just launched a research section, so make sure that you go check that out today. Learn a little bit more about crypto that you may not have known before. If you are a corporate client, you can have a relationship manager uh, and a lot of customer support, superior OTC services, and institutional tools that will help you in your venture. Also, if you sign up for the VIP course, you can get in touch with high touch wealth management personnel and a lot of different people and personalized information as you need in order to successfully navigate this crypto. Also, if you look at my moves right now, you can see that I'm earning over 106 Solana on my last staking. My Tether, I'm going to earn 1670 on my staking so far. Uh, you can see there's some of these have, I've earned $784. I can't cash out for a while, but uh, I've earned 784 so far. And then in the launch pool, guys, if you haven't checked the launch pool out, you've got to check the launch pool. Look at these ROIs that I'm getting right now. It's fantastic. Uh, 20 X on K9 Finance, 7X on Weave, on Block Jerk. Uh, if, you get, if you put a stake into this system right here, it gives you a fantastic amount of rewards. Go check this out. To, so hopefully we'll see some buyback in these, these, these daytime trading hours, or uh, we could continue to see some mass liquidation of long positions as we get ready for uh, a run to shorts. There are, are a massive amount of shorts that are now sitting right above our previous high over here 
So there's a lot happening in the background. <laughs> so make sure that you're careful in your trading. Make sure you don't get wrecked, of course. Uh, but go to Weeks and start trading some Luna Classic today. Make sure that you, you take part in the burn process. We're already burning some with Binance. You want to burn more, burn some with Weeks. Sign up in the description down below, and then boom. Uh, we're burning more and more and more Luna Classic. And look, there's very few centralized exchanges that step in to try to help. Uh, we're, we, you know, we're not big promoters of centralized exchanges. We want DeFi, but until we can burn some some Luna Classic, you know, this is the best of methods. So if you want to be part of that and you want to contribute, go sign up at Weeks and uh, let's start trading today. This is not financial advice, but I'm always right.